I'm Angie Valero, and I'm here with the hockey legend, the sports legend, the legend, legend, Manon Rayom, um, one of my dear, dear friends. So happy to be here with you. How long have we known each other now? About four or five years now. Wow, time flies when you're having fun, right? So we actually met each other because I'm doing a film about your story. And if you don't know Manon's story, you need to first off Google it right now because it's so amazing. First and only woman to play a game in the NHL. And even cooler than that, first and only woman to play a game in any of the four major sports in the U.S., which is really, really awesome. I mean, what what was that like for you? In in like two sentences, tell me your entire life story. <laughs> it was just amazing. It was probably one of the most amazing moments uh, to step on the ice and wearing the Tampa Bay Lightning jersey and playing in the NHL game was. I th I think what really blew me away about your story was seeing the Tampa Bay jersey, a professional jersey, an NHL jersey, and your name was on it, and you were wearing it. That's so cool because we don't see that. Um, I just love it. I love your story. We uh, Not only are we making a film about it, also wrote a children's book about it. Let's bring that bad boy over. Breaking the Ice comes out October 20th, super excited, um, also about her journey because it's just so inspiring. And I think what I really love about your story too, I love so many things about her story, is that it's not just about playing hockey, it's about following your dreams and, and doing what you want to do no matter what society tells you, you know, whether you're not the right you know, gender or sexual orientation or the right ethnicity or you don't have the right background, it's its not letting that stop you. And I think your story just embodies that. Yeah, actually I didn't fit the mold of what an NHL goalie should look like. Really? Like, so Come I, on! <laughs> but that's something I love the sports and I continue to want to play every year and try to make it to the next level and having the chance to, yeah. to do this even if I was a female was amazing. Oh, I love it. Thank you for being such a trailblazer. Well, put that bad boy back. I'm learning to play hockey, so I've never played goalie before. Manon is teaching me. I have some really great coaches, but we can't play hockey right now. So we figured since we can't play hockey, we might as well eat. Um, well, she's going to cook. I'm going to eat. <laughs> Manon also, I think from like day one of meeting you, has talked about this carrot soup. Oh my gosh, all I hear about is carrot soup. So Manon was like, it's time. We can't play hockey. I'm going to finally make the carrot soup for you. So let's yeah. do it. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm coaching girls. It's cold all the time at the rink. I love warm yeah. soup. And what I find out, and you can Google it if you want to find out, but after I start really eating the soup every day for about two weeks, my color of the skin changed, and now I was going to the rink, and people said, did you just come back from a trip? It's so much darker. And I realized... So it didn't I, actually I, turn you orange. It turned you tan. You know, with my skin color, it was more tan than orange. Yeah. And uh, so I started liking it. It's like, this is great. It's healthy. It's vegetarian, because I'm a vegetarian. And it keeps my skin... Like, nice and tan. I mean, yeah. I'll eat it just to be tanner, I guess. <laughs> but really, carrot soup every day? Yes, actually every day. Let's see how good this carrot soup is. So tell me what's going on here. I'm going to put you to work and something okay. I know that you may not like, but I don't measure anything. So every time I eat my carrot soup, it tastes different because either I use a different apple or a different amount of some of the ingredients. So, but that's how I do things. I can't live my life that way. Okay, okay. so you can light up the... Uh, right. You want to do the fire. The, oh, the fire. There's so many fun gadgets. I don't know what to touch first. Okay. Okay. What are you Put doing? a little bit of oil. All about, right. That I can do about a teaspoon of oil. No. See, you lost me. A little bit of oil I can do. A teaspoon. Okay. Anybody else not know measurement? I feel like, how far away are we right now? Oh, maybe 10 feet. <laughs> I'm just not good with distance or measurement. All right. I feel pretty happy about this. Okay. So here... I have two leeks in this, um, okay. and I like to use the white in the light uh, green part. Mm. I don't like the dark green yeah. part. So I love leeks. They're so leeks. flavorful, but they're not too strong. No. I think that's what's nice in a soup. So you want to saute that to make sure it gets softer okay. uh, a few minutes. All right. And then while I'm doing this, tell me, what was, oh, do we have something else to add in here? I just want to talk all okay, about your story. Tell me. Ask me a question. Likewise, I've listened to so many interviews and nobody's asked this. What was the scariest part for you about playing hockey 
I don't know. You can answer. Whether it's in the NHL, whether it was that first Tampa Bay game, whether it was just being a girl. For you, what was the scariest part? I think the scariest part, the only moment that I, I was a little nervous going to the camp in Tampa Bay, it's the first night that we had a meeting. And that uh, I was sitting in the back of the room, and all of a sudden, Phyllis was up front, and he said, everybody in the back, come and sit up front. And I went in front of the room, and I was walking through all those players, and they were big players. And I look around, and I noticed Tony McKechnie, which he used to play for the Quebec Nordics when I was a kid, watching the Quebec Nordics. So you're seeing a guy that you've seen play right. on TV when you yes. were a kid. So, wow. and that really sink in. In that moment, I told myself, what am I doing here? Why did I say wow. this, yes to this? And I imagine that everybody in the room was a male. Yes, so they all looked was at me. Was there a single other female in that room? Nope. So not, I mean, that's crazy. And then that he calls you out and makes you come to the front of the room. I can't even imagine what that so was. So that like. walk was probably the scariest walk. And after that, um, I got into the whole camp and it was fine. But I remember that walk and it was just like one of those that I almost regret having said yes to Yeah, this. yeah. Well, you know, that's what's awesome is you did it anyway. You had that fear and you did it anyway. And then you accomplished this amazing thing. That's a good life lesson. It is. Carrot soup and life lessons. <laughs> Brought to you by Angie and Manon. I love it. That has a nice ring to it. Okay, tell me what we're doing so now. So this is good. It's softened okay. and it starts to smell really good. I yeah. like to use the Envy apple. Ooh. It's just my favorite apple. You can use any kind of apple. Okay. And I'm sure any different apple give you different flavor. Yeah, it's a little tartar, a little tartar. So sweeter. that's one apple. One apple. And you're just, just cutting this in chunks because we're going to blend it. Yes, we're going to all blend that. And this is fresh ginger. Again, yeah. I have no clue how much fresh ginger. Probably about like... An inch square of ginger that I cut off. Sometimes it's more. I feel like I'm cooking one. with my Italian grandmother. All her recipes that we have from her, it's like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it's like, Grandma, how much was that? Yeah. And then what I like to do to make it quick, oh, it because I don't have a lot of time, is to buy a bag, two pounds okay. of the carrots that already cut up and. So I just throw it in there. It's a cooking hack. I love cooking hacks. So now, this is, you can have, okay. it's about a teaspoon of cardamom. I love oh, this spice. So I can, I can measure it? That's not really a teaspoon. It's not, but at least you're not making me um, eyeball it. I love cardamom. <laughs> I recently put this in my pancakes and it added such a nice flavor. It is great. This feels like way more than a teaspoon. Am I feeling this whole thing? That's perfect. <laughs> and then again, to make it quick, okay. uh, I use vegetable broth. Some people may like chicken broth, but because I'm a vegetarian, I use vegetable broth in there. You putting the whole thing in? The whole thing in. Okay. And that's how you cook your soup. If you do not like carrots, this is not going to be a recipe for you. There are so many carrots in here. I know, and this is why your skin will change color if you eat so That's much it. of it. This is what I need to do now. Okay. And uh, we're going to probably brawl for about 15, 20 minutes as, uh, until the carrots get soft. Okay. And then we're going to put the lid on. Winter. All right. Let's let this thing put boil. Should I put the timer on? No. Do you we, don't we don't time. We don't measure. We just do it the way it is okay okay so it's been anywhere between 10 to 40 minutes <laughs> and let's take a look at oh yes that looks lovely i think it's done yeah? yes it's ready to go we need to put it on the in the blender okay and then you pour it in the blender oh gosh this i know this feels I, like a disaster waiting to happen i want to see this Oh, but you have like a nice little pan thing in here. How about can you get a this? little mini facial? Lower. There's gonna be hair in the soup. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was a good idea. Put it all in. Yep. All in. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, the carrots are That's going. That's a lot of carrots. A lot of carrots. It's a whole thing full of carrots. Okay. Let me okay. Go. And now you want to put about half a cup to a cup of coconut milk, depending on how much. Why didn't you yeah. tell me this before? I could have measured it on no, here. I could have done like sure. a little sneaky. Let's, okay. Do you I, need to shake this? Did no, you shake it? it? It's all good. It's okay. all ready to go. Pour it. That's about right. 
That's okay. perfect. That's good. So now you put the lid on. All right. You're gonna choose the soup version. All right. Fancy. And then you press there. How long are you gonna leave this on for? Because it's cooked already, you don't need to leave it for five minutes. Uh, the five minutes, 33, so if you put raw vegetables in it and you want to make a soup. I'm sorry, you put more type of vegetables? Raw. <laughs> Obviously the Look Vitamix Woo, baby. makes it warmer. Yeah. Yeah. So I love now the you want to try it? I never put the salt or pepper in my recipe. I like to do it after so I can choose how much I want. For the carrot soup or for all recipes in general? For most of the mm -hmm. recipe in general. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Okay. Four years waiting. I got the Michigan. I love those Starbucks cup because I can Aww. eat nice soup in it. Michigan. I'm a Michigander, guys. And my Michigander in New York, and we've got a Quebecois. What do you, what do you guys? Quebecois. Oh, that, that's just what you are? Yes. You don't have that nice ER at the end, like no. Michigander? Quebecois. Okay. We pour it in. I love eating soup out of. Just a little bit. That's it. That's okay, good that's for me. Really a little bit. Oh my gosh. This looks really good. Okay, and what I like to do, this is my <laughs> new salt that I like to use, the pink melanin. I cannot say that word. <laughs> Let me show you. Pink melons? <laughs> you just... How do you say that in English? Try it again. Pink melanin. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> Folks, we're going to put a little pink melon salt. I love you so much. Himalayan. That's it. <laughs> the H's, they're tricky for the Quebecois. Okay, wait, so should I put that in first? Yes. All right, and just make it, not too much, just a little bit. That's good. That's good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the Himalayan salt has a lot of great um, nutritional value to it. Okay, super hot. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> our relationship, our friendship rests on whether or not I like this carrot soup. <laughs> Will you still love me if I don't like it? Absolutely. It smells delicious, so I think I'm gonna like it. I'm just gonna try not to burn myself. Ah! No, it's actually delicious. <laughs> good, good. Oh, it's actually really good. It is. It, it is very carroty, but not in a... Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I know. Mm. I don't know if I could eat this every day. You want to eat, eat it once in the winter? You have to eat You want to eat every day. Listen. <laughs> Athletes have to make sacrifices. And same is true if you want to be tan. You have to eat carrot soup. And, and this whole thing is actually about being tan. <laughs> no, it tastes good. It's um, healthy and it's no. vegetarian. This is actually really good. Do you I ever put it. anything else in it, like with the carrots? No, I don't. But sometimes I find in the grocery store they have uh, beets, um, kind of like crouton beets or different mm -hmm. kind of croutons that I put on top of it. Don't beets also change the color of your skin? Yes, it's a combination of both of them. It's really good. And I also like pumpkin seed. In it. Oh, pumpkin seed would be really good. Really good because that's a crunchy texture. You know what this actually looks like? I don't know if you guys can see this. It actually looks like um, butternut squash soup. Yeah. Which is my favorite, which I also make in the Vitamix. It, is, it actually has kind of a similar flavor, but then you taste the carrots at the end. This is surprisingly not as carrot as a carrot, carroty? Hey, cheers. cheers. That was great. too that carrots change color because when you're skin both, skin my, <laughs> both my son love the carrot as kids food. yeah and, and their skin change color <laughs> and i was all worried and i was like what what's happening to my kid they're changing color <laughs> do they like carrots now they do both of them like really? carrots well, that's raw surprising. carrots they don't really eat the carrot soup but they like rock they carrots. won't eat this no just me 
more for you. Thanks for the matter.